I'm Amelia Bellamy Wright. Uh, I'm also known as SVG Amelia. When people meet me for the first time, oh, you're the SVG uh, person. I've been an invited expert at the W3C for almost five years now. This is my first time here at TPAC. Um, so I work on the SVG Working Group and I work on the Area Working Group doing the SVG Accessibility stuff and I work on the CSS Working Group which has a lot of overlap with SVG. So SVG, for anyone who doesn't know, is uh, Scalable Vector Graphics. So it's a language for describing shapes and graphical effects that is designed to work well within websites, within web contents, although it can also be used elsewhere. And that means it has markup that works with HTML or other XML formats. It can be styled with CSS styles. It can be controlled with JavaScript. And for me, that has a lot to do with where I got initially interested. I was interested in interactive data visualization. I was coming from a journalism degree and trying to communicate complex technical information, having graphics and graphics you can interact with was uh, what was really interesting for me. Um, and then from there, as I got to learn more and find what you can do and what you can't do and what you're supposed to be able to do according to the spec, but it was buggy in the browsers. And so that's where I come into the web standards. My main focus has been on uh, trying to improve accessibility of SVG and trying to deal with bugginess and uh, little inconsistencies between browsers that make working with SVG uh, annoying. So for any developers out there who have been using SVG and who are also frustrated with those little browser bugs, um, I would, well, first off, strongly encourage you to file bug reports on browsers and on the SVG working group uh, Repo has for their specifications, sometimes the specifications aren't very clear, need to be fixed. And uh, the other new initiative that we've just started this year is a community group that'll be attached to the standards group, but that anybody can join and start talking about new features that you want to add to SVG, because we know there's lots of them out there that people would love to see. And so we're hoping that that is going to be a healthy initiative to move SVG forward into the future.